It is our culinary hotline, so you can give Zola a call right now. She is here, ready to answer your burning questions about your culinary cooking conundrums. 83 91 We're going to take your calls. We also have some Facebook questions. Hashtag Expresso Show. You can uh, start asking your questions. Hey, Zola, sorry. Hello. I didn't even say it's okay. Hi, okay. Zola. You said hello earlier. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. So we're going to your Facebook questions now. I see the first question is from Aisha Adolf. She says, hi, Zola. Hi. <laughs> she says, when a recipe asks for the juice of one orange, yes. how many milliliters is it? That is a good question because it is confusing. So right. whenever a, a recipe doesn't specify the exact amount, it means that it doesn't matter. You can give or take a few milliliters. I didn't know that. So what's important though when you are juicing an orange is to try and use a reamer or if you don't have a, a citrus reamer, use a fork so you can get all the juice out of the orange. Okay. okay. Um, generally, the average orange, they say, um, yields about 70 milliliters of, of, of juice. But as I say, if a recipe recipe doesn't specify the exact milliliter amount, then just whatever orange you have, use that. Okay. Yeah. And you can literally juice them until you think you have uh, a certain amount. Yeah. So juice it uh, so that orange. it's hollow. See how, how all the juice comes out. But now they say one orange, so could you use four? No. Okay. Because it said one. All right. <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah. We asking. They're going with the average amount of one orange, not four. Okay, okay crazy. 0839133728. That is our phone line. And remember, when you are with us, we are live on Expresso. Len from Hermanus, you are live on your Feel Good Breakfast show. What's your question or comment to Zola? Hi, Len. Uh, hi, morning, Zola. Morning, morning, morning. Morning. I just want to know how does one make his own self rising flour? Oh, okay. What the, I know what the ingredients are. I know what the quantity is. Okay, super. Len, thank you so much for your question. Thanks, How does Len. he make his own salad? Very simple. You just uh, The ratios are a cup of flour, so cake flour, to one teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. A, Very simple to remember. A cup, one, a cup so 250 mils right. to five mils of baking powder. Because immediately there I got confused with the mugs and the cups. I know, I know no, that no, was one of the when, questions. When we, we had talk about a cup in baking, we're always referring to 250 mils. Okay. okay. And that is how. And does he have to sift it or mix it through? He how? can sift it just to make sure that it's well incorporated and well mixed together. He okay. can sift the two separately, then mix them together. As long as you mix the one with the other, you've got self rising You flour. know what's going on in my mind now? I'm what? thinking, what is Len making with that self rising flour right now? But Len, thank you so much for your question <laughs> as it came through. So far, we're asking about oranges also. So Len, self rising flour. What is your question this morning? 083 91 33728. That is our telephone number, and you are welcome to give us a call. Well, there's loads more happening on our show this morning. In fact, we are going over to the other guys who's making something beautiful. Rebecca is in the house. Hey, guys. 